The Minnesota Wild hosting the Colorado Avalanche, and I have the Avalanche at minus 130 on the money line and the Wild at plus 110, the over-under at 6.5 goals. Colorado laying a goal and a half is plus 180, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win the game by two. And the Wild getting a goal and a half at minus 220, meaning if they win the game outright or they don't lose by two, you'd win. Colorado's on a one-game losing streak. They're 5-5 five and five in their past 10 games, and in those games where they were a favorite and had to win the game by two, they are 4-5. and five. And you can see the laundry list of players who aren't playing for either of these teams. The Avalanche have kind of like packed it in to get to the playoffs. You know, I guess they're not looking for that President's Trophy curse. They're going to let that slide over to the Panthers. Now let's get over to the Wild. The Wild are on a one-game winning streak. They're 8-2 and two in their past 10. And in those games where they were an underdog, getting a goal and a half, they're 2-0. and up. Head-to-head, the home team's on a four-game winning streak. Colorado is 6-4 and four in their past 10. The Wild are on a one-game winning streak. They've played twice, uh, three times this year. Minnesota won 3-2 to two in overtime. Colorado won 4-3 to three in a shootout. And Colorado won 4-1. to one. So Colorado took two out of the three, but two out of the three were one goal games, and two out of the three games went under. So I'm taking the Wild with the money line, the Wild getting goals, and I'm going under, and I'm doing this because right now I got the Wild as a dog, so that was the whole reason why I bet this game last night. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.